idea he were conceived, since the day he were born, he have been what? Evil. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Master Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 6. It says, it says sincerity and truth are what you require. Fill my mind with your wisdom. Hallelujah. Mm. That is supposed to be our prayer. Because sincerity is what God requires from us. And truth, that is what He requires from us. We must walk in truth. We must walk in obedience. We must be sincere in everything we are doing. Hallelujah. Mm. When you are not doing well, you are always you are always full of lies you are always full of iniquity you are always full of evil you are always full of all kinds of bad behavior god did not require that from us so today we need to what we need to delete them and leave it with 2020 to take it away Amen. and do what god require from us sincerity and truth hallelujah Amen. Amen. And he said, God should fill, fill his mind with wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. So this year, let us not be foolish. This year, let us be wise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us be wise this year. Because when we are still walking in ignorance, we will be perish. Hallelujah. A lot of people have perished. When I look at people, when I look at the kind of mindset they have, I, I feel pity for them. Praise God. Hallelujah. I feel Hallelujah. pity for them because why their mindset is very wrong. They don't have this mindset. They don't have this wisdom. They don't have understanding. All they just believe that cast out devil, cast out demon. And they will pray, pray, pray. All their body will be paining them. Are you hearing it? All their body will be paining them. They will tired. Fine. Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. We are fighting against power and principalities. But when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you only cast out devil. You cast out demons. Hallelujah. Amen. They will obey you. Yes. It doesn't matter you shout. It doesn't matter because that God has given you that authority. Yes. You cast them out. Amen. Some people now, when you pray a simple prayer for them, they will think they will think, ah, he did not shout or he did not, he did not throw karat. Ah, maybe God did not hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Because everybody knows the kind of grace he carries. Yes. Because the, the Bible said Jesus Jesus cast out devil, cast out demon. He was not shouting, he was not jumping up so that he, the, the silly will, will burst. Hallelujah. Jesus prayed. Hallelujah. He said, He has given us power and authority to cast out devil. So when the Spirit of God also come upon you, I'm not saying all kinds of prayer is allowed, but don't weigh yourself hard because you want to cast that devil. Let your way be right with God. Hallelujah. When your way right with God, you will cast that devil and they will what? He will hear you. He will obey. Because why? You have the power in your mind. You have the power inside you. Hallelujah. So we say, remove my sin. Remove what? My sin. And I will be clean. Wash me and I will be what? I will be white, white than snow. Whiter than snow. I will be whiter than snow. Hallelujah. Amen. Remove all my sin. Remove everything that is wrong in my life. I will be whiter than snow. Hallelujah. That is the word of, well, that is the prayer of David. Amen. That is the prayer of King David. So that is the prayer me and you supposed to pray today so that God himself will hear us from heaven. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit. So that God himself will hear us from heaven. Verse 8. He said let me let me hear the sound of joy and gladness. Let me hear the sound of joy and gladness. And, uh, and though you have crushed me and break me, I will be happy again. Hallelujah. Do you want to be happy again? Do anybody want to be happy again? You must confess your sin to God. You must ask God to cleanse you with his precious blood Jesus Christ so that you will be whiter like his snow hallelujah Amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Nine. He said. He said. He said. Choose. He said. Yeah, close your eyes to my sin and wipe out all my evil. Have you seen it? Close your eyes to my sin and wipe all my evil. So we will not allow sin to follow us to 2021. Amen. We will not allow evil, wrongdoing, bad behavior, bad attitude, to wrong mindset to cross over with us. Because when it cross over with us, we are going to fail again this year. If we don't want to repeat again this year, if we don't want to fail again this year, we should ask God for mercy. The way David prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Because one way or other, we all have committed error this year. Are you hearing it? So nobody will come at that, oh, this, that, in one way or other, maybe the way we talk, the way we look down on people, the way we despise people, the way we, our behavior have crushed us. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to ask God to wipe away our sin. In verse 10, this is what every one of us need to really go for before we cross over. I know people are still there that have crossed over already, but we have not crossed over. Before we crossed over, we are going to ask God if they say, create in me, create a pure heart in me. Are you hearing it? Create a pure heart in me. Oh God, I put a new and a loyal, a loyal spirit in me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Create in me a new heart. And renew me. Renew my spirit within me. Because a lot of us, our spirit is dirty and filthy. A lot of us, our spirit have already condemned. Hallelujah. A lot of us, evil have already, evil have already destroyed distra our hearts. A lot of us, our hearts have been hardened like a stone. Hallelujah. So today we are going to ask Almighty God to create us a new heart, to give us a new heart, to renew our a rightful spirit within us. Are you hearing us? This evil spirit, this bad spirit that is making us repeating every year, every year, every year, this spirit should be taken away with 2020. A new spirit of God will come upon us so that we will enter 2021 with a clean heart. Because you only take a clean heart to sing God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I don't want people to pray and miss this year. A lot of us have been praying and miss. Our prayer is abomination to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been praying and miss. Kill devil. Kill demon. Cast a demon. Cast a devil. A lot of people now they are busy and casting a devil in so many churches now. Hallelujah. 2021. What we see before then. The same reputation, the same setback that we say God is not faithful. No, do you want to see a changes today? Do you want to see a changes in 2021? God is too faithful. You need to what? You need to renew your mindset. You need to tell God to clean your heart. To clean your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To clean your heart. To renew your right, your rightful spirit within you. So that God himself will bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We should ask God to renew a rightful spirit within us so that God Himself will bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in verse in verse uh, verse 11, he said, Do not do not banish me from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Do you want to sing God 2021? Huh? Do you want to sing God? Today we are going to pray that God should renew our spirit. That God should give us a rightful spirit. So that in 2021, when we pray, God will hear our prayer from heaven. God will not banish us away for his presence. Hallelujah. God bless you. You are welcome. God will not bind, bind us away from his presence. Because the Bible says prayer of a sinner is abomination to God. Hallelujah. Every sin we have committed in 2020, this sin must die away from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Knowing and unknowing sin, we may not know. Hallelujah. We may not know. We may not know because when we are talking about sin, people will be thinking, oh, I have no key person. I have no doing But there is no knowing sin which we are committing every day. We don't know. 
We don't know. That's why we need to ask God before we cross over that God should forgive us our sin and take away all those sin that we did not know. Even the one we know should take it away and give us a clean heart and a rightful spirit. Hallelujah. That is going to be our prayer today. So that in 2021, everything will go well for us. Before we pray, God will act into our voice. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. A lot of us, we Holy Spirit have disappeared from us. Are you seeing it? Holy Spirit, because our sin is too much, and Holy Spirit will be rebuking us, Holy Spirit will be directing us, Holy Spirit will be instructing us, but we, our hearts have been tied like a stone. The Holy Spirit will be quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. So today we are going to ask God, before we cross over, even these five minutes, it's not, a, it's not time to cast out devil, to cast out demon. We sometimes, in the sin inside us, the sin inside us is the one that is blocking our way, knowingly and unknowingly. Hallelujah. Amen. So, he says, should not take away. It's a prayer of David, Psalm 51. Hallelujah. He should not take away the Holy Spirit from me. Because when the Holy Spirit leaves us, we are finished. We can't do nothing again. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. Holy Spirit is our teacher. He said, if you look at verse 20, he said, Give me again the joy that comes from your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Hallelujah. A lot of us, we are lost, we are lost the joy of God. The joy of God has been taken away from us. Hallelujah. But we are just living. No joy, no happiness, no peace, nothing, nothing. We are just so carnal. Hallelujah. The joy of salvation, we should pray that God should bring it for us again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So that we will be filled again with his, with, with his joy and peace. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 13, he said, Then I will teach sinner your commandment, and they will, what, turn to, they will turn back to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when David is praying this prayer, he is praying because he has sinned against God. He is praying for God to forgive him, for God to renew his spirit, but for God not to take away his, the Holy Spirit that is upon him. When God do this for him, he himself will teach sinner to come back to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. So today now, as soon we are a believer, our light should shine 2020. People should see us and give their life to Christ. Hallelujah. People, no, people will not see us. They will say, if this person is if this person says he's a Christian, for me, I will not go to church again. Hallelujah. Our life should be a sample to the world that we are a believer. I say our light should shine because we are the light of the world. We are the salt. Our light will so shine that people will see they want to come to God. Not people will see they will turn back away from God. We sh our light should be a sample for the sinner. When you preach Christ to them, they will want to follow you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For he says, Spare my life, O God, and save me, and I will glad proclaim your righteousness. Now we gladly proclaim your righteousness. Help me to speak. Oh, Lord, and I will praise you. He said, you do not want sacrifice, or I would offer them. You are not pleased with bond offering. My sacrifice is a humble spirit, O oh Lord. You will not reject a humble and a repentant heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, that is going to be our prayer. Everybody is going to pray by himself, you know any error you have committed this year, you know whatever you have done, you need to pray like, a, like in David hallelujah, so that God will give us his grace again, so that God will give us this spirit of humility, spirit of humbleness, hallelujah because the Bible said the, uh, uh, he said the spirit of uh, humble God will never reject what? Spirit of a, 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 a humble spirit can never reject. But when you are full of pride, when you are full of arrogance, 
When you are full of all, all kinds of uh, devil worship, when you pray to God, God will never listen. Because God said, I will humble the pride and give grace to the uh, I, I, will, I will give grace to the humble. God can never reject a humble heart and a repentant heart. God will never reject it. Because if God rejects it, that means God is a liar. Hallelujah. Amen. That means God is a liar. But because God said God is not a liar, He can never reject a humble spirit that have come to repentance. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, Oh God, be kind to Zion and help her. Rebuild the way of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with proper sacrifice and with our bond offering and bull will be sacrificed on your altar. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, my Hallelujah. brothers and sisters, we are going to pray. We are going to pray a prayer of forgiveness. You may be wondering why pastor is doing this now. Uh, today is supposed to be a joyful day. Hallelujah. Fine. It's supposed to be a joyful day. But those that really love their God, today is supposed to be a Thanksgiving day. Huh? And a day. And a day to ask God for forgiveness so that our error we commit 2020, 2020 will not cross over with us. Because when it cross over with us, we are going to fail again this year. Because we don't want to fail again this year, that's why we need to confess our sin to God. So that it will renew our spirit. So that it will give us grace to do what we please in and take away our weakness hallelujah Amen. brothers and sisters let's open our mouth and begin to pray because we have just 10 minutes to cross over hallelujah just close your eyes begin to pray begin to open your mouth begin to ask god for mercy begin to ask god for forgiveness begin to ask god whatever error you have committed 2020 may holy spirit almighty god help you to take it away take all those iniquity away every wrong mindset every mindset that is wrong every part behavior, every bad attitude, every spirit of pride, everything that is bad, may it not cross over with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke bad spirit, I rebuke wrong mindset, I rebuke foolishness, I rebuke wrong behavior, I rebuke bad attitude, I rebuke it away in my life and my people life in the name of Jesus Christ. This wrong mindset will not cross over with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray, children of God. Your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Bad behavior, it will not cross over with me. Bad character will not cross over with me. Bad attitude, if you are wrong doing, it will not cross over with me. not cross over with my children and my leaders and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not cross over with the members in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cancel every bad attitude, every wrong behavior that will not make God show mercy on us. That will not make God hear our prayer from heaven. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. We cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We we cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast it out, we cast it out, we cast it out. Every wrong behavior, every wrong attitude, every bad character, we die away with 2020. We die away with 2020. It will not cross over with me. It will not cross over with me. God first will shine upon me. God first will shine upon me in 2020. Ah, what will cross over with me? Humility, greatness, favor, blessing, humble. Oh God, good spirit, it will cross over with me. Every wrong spirit, bad attitude, bad character in my life to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to die away with 2020. I command you, you bad spirit, you bad behavior, you spirit that will not make people to, to know God, you spirit that will not make people to obey God. I command you, you that devil, you that devil, you that demon, I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not cross over with us. You will not cross over with us. You will not cross over with us. Us. You will not cross over with us in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast out that devil. That evil will not cross over with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next prayer. The next prayer before we cross over. Ask God to wash away all your evil doing, all your wrong behavior, all your wrong sin. So cleanse you all in the name of Jesus Christ. So cleanse you with every wrong behavior, every wrong doing. So cleanse you with his precious blood so that you will be clean before you enter 2021 in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, wash me with your precious blood. Wash my children with your precious blood. Wash my husband with your precious blood. Wash my leaders, all the members with your precious blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Wrong attitude, wrong behavior. Sins will not go with us. We we'll never cross over with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, take away our sins. Take away our iniquity. Blood of 
Jesus Christ. We invite you. Come and wash us like a snow. Come and wash us like a snow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are going to pray. Yes, 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 yes. Pray, pray, pray. Ask God to be merciful to you. To be merciful to you. To be merciful to you. And forgive you all your iniquity. And forgive you all your sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be merciful to me. Be merciful to me. Be merciful to my loved ones. Be merciful to my leaders. Be merciful to my members. Every member in Christ's ministry. Every flock of God in that church. Be merciful to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the children of God have given to me. All every body of Christ that pray for mercy today. They did not ask for silver. They did not ask for gold. They ask you to forgive them because they are recognized their fault. They are recognized their fault. They are not their fault, oh God. Because we have been seen, knowing and unknowing, we don't know it, oh God. We just want you to have mercy. Be merciful, oh God. Merciful, oh Be merciful, oh Lord. Be merciful, oh Lord. Be merciful, oh Lord. Be merciful, oh Lord. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to ask God to be merciful. Begin to ask God to be merciful. Begin to ask God to be merciful. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, we have since five minutes to go. In verse 6, verse 6 says, it says, sincerity and truth. Sincerity and truth is what God requires from us. Ask God to give you grace to be sincere to Him, 2021. Ask God grace to be sincere, to be truthful to Him, 2021. Because that is what God requires. And ask Him to fill your mind with wisdom and understanding and knowledge. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Yes, yes, yes. Open your mouth and pray, people of God. Children of God. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Father, Lord, every spirit of God that will not make me be sincere, that will not make me be truthful, may that spirit die away with 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, any evil spirit, every spirit of dishonesty, every spirit of untruthfulness, I command you to die away in 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not cross over with me. You will not cross over with me. I condemn you. I cast you out away my life by fire by tongue in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of dishonesty spirit of untruthfulness by fire by thunder I cast you out out away in my life out away in my loved ones out away in my children out away people of God out away the leaders of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Every spirit of dishonesty, spirit of untruthfulness, I command you to get that. 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 I command you because that evil spirit is not from God. I cast you out away in our life. Away in our life. Spirit of unfaithfulness. Spirit of untruthfulness. Spirit of dishonesty. Only God's fire. I cast that evil spirit out away from our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit God requires for us is spirit of truth. Is spirit of sincerity. Father God Almighty. May that spirit come upon me. May that spirit come upon our my leaders. May that spirit come upon our members. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of sincerity. Spirit of truthfulness. Father, fill our mind with wisdom. Fill our mind with knowledge. Fill our mind with understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. My God, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. I don't know, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God to fill you with spirit of sincerity. With spirit of truth. With spirit of truth. That is what God requires from you. That is what God requires from you. And He will renew your heart. And He will give you a new spirit. He will give you a rightful spirit within you. Begin to ask God to give you the grace to receive this spirit of sincerity. This the spirit of truth. So oh, that is what God requires for you. So that the grace will fill your heart. It will fill your mind. It will fill your mind with wisdom. With the wisdom of God, you can overcome every error. With the knowledge of God, you can walk with Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, God, we receive that spirit. Receive the spirit of truth. We receive the spirit of truth. We receive the spirit of truth. We receive the spirit of, we receive the spirit of sincerity. In the name of Jesus. Be our mind, oh God. Be our mind, oh God. Fill our mind, oh God. Fill our mind, oh God. Fill our mind, oh God. With wisdom, with knowledge, with understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fill our mind, oh Father, Lord Jesus. What you require from us, oh God. Fill it, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. 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 Fill our mind.
minds, oh God, with wisdom. Fill our minds with knowledge. Fill our minds with, oh God, with understanding. So that we can be able to stand firm in, the, in your work. To stand firm in whatever you require from us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit, we cast you out. Die with 2020. Die with 2020. Die with 2020. Every sin in our life, we command you to go. Go with 2020. Go with 2020. You will not cross over with us. You will not cross over with us. You will not cross over with us. One minute go. One minute go. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for every wrong spirit to leave you right now. To leave your life. Spirit of discouragement. Spirit of no concentration. Spirit of distraction. Begin to ask God to cast that devil out. To cast that spirit out. To cast that wrong spirit out. It out the way in our mind. Out the way in our heart. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. I command you to go. Go with 2020. Go with 2020. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God. 
Yes. We made it. Yes. We thank you. We are among of the living. Amen. It's not by our power, either by our mind. It's by the spirit of the most high God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Who I say, Baba? Who I say, Baba? Who I say, Wabujime? Who I say, Who I say, Who I say, Baba? He got you every Ese no saume, <laughs> no saume ya, <laughs> asa manyeme. Iga jere, iga jere, ese no saume. No saumeya, <laughs> asa manye neo. Do not let us go. The same way we came. Touch us with your hand, Jesus. Do not let us go. This same way we came. Touch us with your hand. Oh Lord. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Happy New Year to you all. God love you so much. God love you people of God. The same way you came today. The same way we came. <laughs> Touch us with your hand. Jesus. Do not let us go. The same way we came. Touch us with your hand. Jesus, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Amen. Let me pray with you, people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we bless you. Amen. We worship you. We adore you. Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray. I pray, Lord, we say thank you. Amen. Thank you.